Oh. Just in case you're watching this in the summer, they've put the Christmas trees out early again. Anyway, so we are looking at the Xperia Pro I. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, not again. We're very Xperia Pro I heavy, yes, but there's something interesting that has arisen. For one, I think this is a great camera phone for taking video, as I tried out last time, but I couldn't try out completely because it was just a prototype. Now, this is the final release version, but I think this is actually the same one. They've just given it back to me with the final firmware because it's still got the same scratch around the lens. I didn't do it. But anyway, we're gonna test it out, see what it's like. But Mark Cho of the Armory left a comment on the previous vid and he said, is overheated after 12 minutes, so that's not good. Definitely not good. Armory, you remember them? Kitted me out before. Uh, I've gone, I've, I've reverted back to type. I've reverted back to my uh, kind of trampy clothing. I used to be smarter dressed back then. Anyway, Xperia Pro I, I think it could be great. Locke is, Locke has got everything kitted out here. He's got the mic, he's got the road. Um, Wireless go to. Yeah, go to connected with USB-C so you can have two channel. Yeah. Cause if you use 3.5 millimeters, it's only one channel. Biggest sensor in a smartphone, then you can add an external mic as well as monitor sound. Not forgetting that it's the Sony. Oh, and it fits in your pocket. How perfect does that sound for the ideal run and gun, whatever you call this kind of content creation? This episode of Super Boca Bros is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for setting up your own slick looking website. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, good. The, the screen is just too big. I, I just, it's just too big. I, I can't grip. I, I don't know how to grip it. I always hear that comment. The skadoodle. There's a violin background track. And I don't like it. Just in case you're watching in summer, nobody wants to know about Rudolph, do they? Is it? I, I, was, I was thinking, is it recording? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Exactly, okay. right? Okay, it it's only it's only if you look on the that that time yeah. code. Can put okay, it, it it lights up, but not. But when you switch off, it doesn't look too different. I mean, it's yeah. hard to tell. It's got it's still red. Surely it's not just those with myopia that will struggle. We've got a little red dot there, but you know that's not really wow. big enough, is it? Sony gives very subtle signals that you're currently recording. Even the record and stop sound sound the same. When you hit record and stop, it's the same sound, which that still bugs me. I mean, interestingly, Sony markets this as a one inch sensor camera phone, but you've got the one inch sensor and it's cropped. It just uses a portion of that, so you don't get the full one inchness. It's like saying this video, this 4K video, was only in 1080. Last time I thought the video was great. Stabilization is fantastic. So this could be a perfect thing to film on all the time. Either for vlogging or if you've got a cameraman. A lock man. I mean, Locke's got the stabilization skills with his hands. But this is, uh, I mean, if I move around, he's doing one hand at a minute. Well, I, can't, I can't grip it with, with two hands anyway. It's... The, the squid is so big and then I, I would block the lens and... That's the only trouble with phones, isn't it? It's just... Where do you hold it? Yeah, it's, uh, oh, my head, my fingers, my fingers in front. Hand placement isn't the biggest issue. As it turned out, the stabilization, while very, very stable, was too edgy, overcooked. Panning, nothing to do with cooking, is smooth but leaves a motion trail. Even the stabilization finds the blur too much that it chucks in some random blur glitches in anger. And then the movement is at times robotic, which Locke claims is not his doing. But this is on the 24 millimeter focal length? Yeah. Can you zoom in and out on the Video Pro app while recording? Yeah, you can. Can you go wide and telly? Wide is 24. Okay. Telly, uh, hang on. Oh, 72. I wonder if that just used the one in sense and does it digitally crop in? I mean, is there, let's see if there's any loss in quality. So we want, we want this in full detail. I think it's just the same. But it's nice and smooth, is it? Pretty smooth. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you're a Sony shooter, 
it's quite handy to have someone, something like this in your pocket. I'm just trying to walk back and forth to avoid music because It's got a full, full drum kit. So yeah, there's three apps for your, your photo visual needs. You've got the Cinema Pro, which is proper hardcore geekery. It's supposed to be like, it's supposed to look like a Venice camera with its interface. Then you've got the Video Pro, which kind of looks less Venice-like, but it's still pro. You can shoot video with that. But then again, there's another app, which is, I can't remember what they call it, just camera. Camera, probably Camera Pro. But anyway, you can shoot video on that. It should, just that that is more like for people who are not that interested in shutter speeds and things like that for video. It's just click, record. But this is Video Pro. There's still some things that you can kind of tweak, but not to the level of the Cinema Pro app. But it's got your autofocus, it's got your face detection. Yeah. Is it pretty good? But then when you are not facing the camera, sometimes it just the, the focus point just jump around, focus on somebody else. Now now it's on somebody else. I, and now I don't know how it's back. It just doesn't like backs. There's a focus on somebody else's face, like if they're facing the camera. Not really, I don't know what it is focusing on. So if so if it's now focused. it just uh, I think it tried to track on you but it's because I must be the biggest thing in the frame, right? Now it's on the sky. Oh. <laughs> now it's back on you. I mean, other phone use AI or whatever software to make it have to have more dynamic range. This one, uh, at least now, it looks like it doesn't have any of that. It just straight out the sensor dynamic range. Do you think that's a good thing? Uh, so like the iPhone, when you take video, it, the, the dynamic range that you get from it is seemingly quite good because... Yeah, sometimes too good. Yeah. Sometimes it's just unreal. Like the pixel, the, the photos, the dynamic range is like... It looks too... too much sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. The 6.5 inch HDR screen, while gorgeous, is hard to judge exposure on according to Locke, hence the slightly overexposed clips. Would it be nice to have some pro features like Waveform or Zebra on these pro apps? These clips could look much better if the highlights weren't blown to smithereens. So apparently this is camera, no, photo, 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 pro. photo pro. Yeah, I got it wrong. Which is take video as well. Yeah, so it's photo, is professional for photos but not for video. So this is a video pro at the minute. Camera, no, photo pro. <laughs> so this is HDR. It looks darker on screen here, but then the sky is not overblown now. Yeah, we just, we just had about 20 minutes there just faffing about with the different apps, figuring out the different settings and features of each app. But uh, what, what app are we on now? Uh, cinema, cinema, pro, cinema, yeah, cinema pro. <laughs> cinema pro. So this is the more, this is the fancy version. This is uh, you've got the Venice CS look. You've got uh, you've got hybrid log gamma, which is what we're filming on right now, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but I don't, it's, I don't think it's got face detection. The autofocus point, as standard, is right in the slap bang in the centre. Oh, I can touch it, but you don't track. Yeah, pros, pros don't use auto-focus, right? But you can still touch the screen yeah. for off-center focusing. Yeah. But you, can set, you can set the, you, you've got letters there to set. Yeah, you can set uh, auto-focus pool. Yeah. And I can pull it now. It's quite responsive uh, with the Cinema Pro. I can't hear anything. Oh yeah. Yeah, because obviously Cine Pro people, people who work in the industry, they have a separate guide to record audio. So yeah. that's why you don't need to listen to the audio. I think pro video people have audio guy as well. <laughs> yeah. The Cinema Pro stabilization is a lot less heavy handed, almost looking like there isn't any stabilization at all. Still, there is, and it suffers from the same problems, robotic movements and jittery corrections. We're getting to a point where people are using phones more for video and, and they know it. Like the iPhone, they've got the iPhone 13, and they kind of promoted Actually, it as... That's one thing, the Cinema Pro, 
You can't change exposure while shooting. You can't change exposure with the Cinema Pro app because oh, it's for similar cinema people. You got lighting and you set up your shot. You don't change exposure. I don't know. Video Pro then it's more for one and gun, I guess. Two flights to set to auto. What? Two flights to set to auto. Manual, just the exposure and try again. What is... I mean, the auto ISO, of course, it should adjust when it's too bright and too dark. But you can't turn it on when it's too bright. <laughs> this is a fantastic shop to stop outside of for a background view. At first, I did think this app was like, it's really cool because, uh, you know, you've got all these settings and it's supposed to mimic of Venice and the colour looks great but it's a bit too fiddly for a phone. When you have to set up so many things for your shot and you have to put it on tripod whatever lighting I would just use a camera. Yeah. Why would I still use a phone? <laughs> <laughs> I mean there are limitations while well, Mark Cho said overheats but I don't think we've been recording for quite some time now haven't we? Um, I mean for sh how long is this clip? This is four minutes. Yeah, so we've probably only got about five seconds that is useful of that because usually we talk a load of bullshit in between. Um, just ruin the magic there. I tried to make it overheat just like Mark chose Xperia Pro I did, but the good news is that I couldn't. Shooting at 4K 30p combined, I got one hour 35 minutes of footage before it got a little too hot to carry on. The only thing I didn't have though was 5G and there weren't a load of apps running in the background, but from what I got, it records for longer than a ZV-1. Yeah, I mean, it's good that I can get one hour 30 minutes out of it, but still, that means there's some people who have this phone and it's going to overheat after 12, 20 minutes, which is not good because that's a big variation. Because if it was just I get 10 or 20 minutes more, then it's it could be just, OK, the room is a bit different or I, I don't know, I'm taking video of a stationary subject, so it's a bit different. Over one hour, I got more. Now, in a recent video, we said on oh, the best vlogging camera is the ZV-E10. <laughs> But I don't think, when I think back about it, I think there's so many other better cameras. The A7 IV, the GH5 II. I think, I think it's too much to just base that vlogging camera on just the fact that it's got an all right built-in mic. I think if you want that kind of vlogging camera, then this is the be best one. This video is not sponsored by Sony. No. <laughs> this is a very Sony heavy month, or a very Xperia heavy month. We're not sponsored by them. I looked to right there. I don't know if that means I'm lying, but I, I, I'm, not, I'm not lying. We're not sponsored by them and we're not ambassador. Um, we, just don't have, we just don't have anything else to make videos of. We wish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they, if, they were, if they had a big briefcase full of money and said, here you go, Compared to the ZV-1, both have the same sensor DirectX 107, the ZV-1 has better detail. Check out the hat and the bag strap, which looks totally smooth on the Xperia Pro I. In low light, it's similar, although there seems to be a bit more noise reduction thrown in on the Xperia. <laughs> one, one, one interesting quirk I find with the, the Photo Pro app is that when you have the fancy function menu, it's fine like that not in portrait mode. <laughs> you would think that it would rotate all the way around. No, it doesn't. Of course, the shutter button is here and you can only take a photo using that. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a bit of photos. Because last time we tried it and the colors looked a bit kind of off, white balance. Face detection is actually better on the, the phone. On the phone? With the mask on. Oh. Sometimes it picks you up, sometimes it doesn't with the ZV-1. I mean, it's a Sony, so you're not expecting the colours to be fantastic. Despite being on the same cloudy white balance, the Xperia Pro I seems to have a different colour science, but there's a similar situation to the video. The ZV-1 has sharper photos, and there's definitely a different way the Xperia renders skin colours. 
The auto white balance seemed to struggle last time with the light being reflected off foliage. This time, it didn't struggle so much on the cloudy day, but on the same white balance setting, the Zebri one pumps those red tones a little more than Xperia Pro I, which appears to veer towards yellows. Although the Zebri one still offers up advantages, the Xperia Pro I mostly doesn't disappoint with the image and performance. True, it's not as detailed on the Xperia, but you could potentially get some great looking photos and video from it. It's just that the stabilization, which could have really helped to make this a fantastic, handy little device for video, for getting smooth looking footage. It would make it quite hard to resist if we could use it for moving shots like this, ended up turning the footage into at times distracting jumpy looking video which is a shame because it has so many other boxes ticked if you want to set up your own website online store just your own domain it's super easy to get started with squarespace with a slick easy to use interface filled with a plethora of templates to choose from and with 24 7 customer service to help you out if you need it you can give it a try with a 14 day free trial and 10 percent off your first order by using this link and discount code you just don't know Android, Apple fanboys. Oh. Okay, rolling. Hi there, just in case you're watching in the summer, they put the Christmas tree up early. 